guys welcome back to my channel and today's video I have a watch me work video um, now I normally have just a bog standard introduction for these watch me works which I just play every time but this is a slightly different watch me work because in this video I'm going to be doing my nails so I have already done one hand um, which hopefully you can see nicely there and I thought in this video I'm going to show you what I did on the other hand so I've used some of my favorite products but the whole design was based around these fabulous flamingo decals from the queen of decals now these decals were made by Bev because I said to her I'm looking for flamingo decals and I can't find any I like so she very kindly um, created this sheet just um, well not just for me because it is for sale on her website but she very kindly created this sheet uh, when I asked uh, and that is one of the things I love about Bev because she does take custom orders so if you are looking for that perfect decal for an occasion give her a message, send her an email, and she will definitely be able to help you. And to help you along with that, I'm gonna pop all the links for Bev, um, for her website, uh, and to the Queen of Decals Facebook uh, page in the description box so you know where you can find them. So I finally decided it was time to use these decals, and Ryan had said to me I needed to do pink nails, so it's kind of fate, really. So that is enough of this introduction. I am going to get on with completing my nails. As always, I will pop all the links in the description box to the products I have used and any discount codes I might have for those companies. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future ramblings or madness. Uh, I do hope you enjoy this video and this design uh, and I will see you again very very soon. Bye! Mwah! So starting off with my base colours, I have got ND02 and PK05 from Kiki London and this is all a gel polish design I am doing. So starting off with ND02 and this is Blush Teddy. It's a really gorgeous pink toned nude and I thought it worked really nicely in this set. So I'm working straight on top of my acrylic extensions and uh, any gel polish work I do, I always work on top of acrylic extensions. So I have used Team Gorgeous Honeycomb for those. That is my go-to if I'm going to be doing gel polish on top. And if, like me, you love a bit of Team Gorgeous acrylic, you can use my code HELLORG4 and that will get you 5% off. But I will leave those details on the screen and in the description box. So next I'm going in with the gorgeous neon pink colour. This is pink gin. Um, to be honest, I just chose this one because uh, I love gin. Not that I drink it anymore, but I do love gin. Um, but it is a really nice colour and I thought it would just add a real pop of pink in this design. So nice thin coats of those two colours to start off, making sure the cuticle is really, really neat. And then I'm going to cure it in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. Ta -da! Right, back in and I am going in with a second thin coat of those two colours and with my second coat I always cap the free edge. I don't do it with every coat because I don't want to lose the shape of the nails. So not my first colour coat, just my second colour coat. Uh, and then I will cure again. So if you like the look of these colours from Kiki London, you can use my discount code CINDAHELLY, it's on the screen and in the description box, and that will get you 15% off anything on the website. Um, and I really do love these colours. Just getting rid of a bit of hair or fluff there, uh, and then I will cure. So they are all cured now, moving on to the decals and these are those from the lovely Bev at 
queen of decals. So I've chosen the two flamingos that I'm going to be using and I'm just using my stalk scissors to cut them out as close to the image as possible. Don't want lots of excess sort of decal around the edge because it makes it a little bit harder to stick down. You want just the image. And then I've got a cotton uh, makeup sponge which I've soaked in water and I'm just laying them in there for well not very long at all and then you can just gently slide them off the backing now I'm going straight on top of the tacky layer of the gel polish this really does help them stick but obviously remember it's tacky so try not to touch it too much because you don't want to transfer any fluff dust dirt anything uh, I always give it a blot off on some kitchen roll. You want the decal to be as dry as possible. I apologise for being out of shot here. Um, I did not realise. <laughs> so just pressing the decal into place, smoothing out any creases, and then I'm going in with my Kiki London No Wipe Top Coat. And just going in with the first coat to protect that decal. Uh, so going right over and this is where you want to make sure you have pressed down your decal completely flat so there's no creases at all so you can get a nice smooth finish to that top coat and then I'm curing it so there are the decals I absolutely love them and now I've got some gorgeous sort of foil flakes these are for from Harvey's nails and training and I'm just going to on my ring finger do a bit of a fade up the nail again I'm working on the tacky layer of the color just dusting away any excess around the cuticle and then on the two hot pink nails I'm just doing sort of a, a speckled effect almost so just popping it on rubbing it in so it's stuck in place uh, not completely covering the nail just so it's got a little bit of colour and interest and then dusting away all of the excess adding a bit more there <laughs> put the lid on because knowing me I'd cough sneeze and it would fly everywhere and then I'm just using a dusty brush this is just an eyeshadow applicator um, to get rid of the excess and I'm going in with my no wipe top coat a nice thin coat of this because I'm still going to be adding more layers so I'm only adding top coat where I definitely need it and keeping it nice and thin but floating it over at the same time so I don't drag off any of those flakes I know that probably sounds like I'm working against what I'm saying but you don't want to drag anything off and we're going to cure Right, I have got my DP08, I think that is. I'll double check. Uh, this is my Dixie plates, which I get from the lovely Sarah Richardson. I've got the double Dixie Diamond Duo, or whatever it's called. I, I'll check that and put it in the description box. And my black clear jelly stamping polish and scraper. And I'm just using this really gorgeous sort of hibiscus image because it ties in with the... Um, decals and I'm just going to stamp on my little finger and my thumb so I'm not going to go through my stamping um, routine I'm going to do videos more focused on that but cleaning off my stamper with a lint roller and cleaning off the image with acetone and just doing exactly the same on the thumb I love these sort of images uh, and as I said it tied in really nicely with the uh, flamingo so now the, um, what do I call it? Stamping, that's what I call it, is all done. I'm going to go in floating over my top coat on those two nails. Um, and then I'm going to cure. Right, coming in to the last bit of this design, I'm going to start off with... Um, I've got some crystals from Angel Crystals. These are a selection of pink ones from the Pink Mix set. Uh, I'll double check the name of that set and pop that in the description box. I've got my Bling On Adhesive from Nail Tech Supplies and just a gel brush. And I'm brushing on some of that adhesive. I've got the Picker Upper 
also from Nail Tech Supplies and I'm just going to use that to apply my uh, Swarovskis. So I'm doing sort of around the corner-ish, not that it's a corner, on my index and middle finger and then I'm just going to add a few on my ring finger for some detail. So whilst you watch me do that, I'm just going to go back over a couple of little bits of information I need to give. If you like the look of these flamingo decals from the Queen of Decals, please use my code HELLY10 and that will get you 10% off the website. Again, I'll pop that in the description box so you don't forget. Um, if you like the look of the crystals from Angel Crystals, I also have a discount code for them. It is Cinder Helly, and that will get you 5% off. And last but not least, if this bling on adhesive and picker upper is tempting you, it is amazing for applying Swarovski's crystals, bling, anything like that. Please use my code NTS Cinder Helly 10 and that will get you 10% off everything on the Nail Tech Supplies website. As always, I will pop those discount codes and all the links and product details in the description box. Uh, and those things I'm not 100% certain on, I will check and leave those details there. So this picker upper has got a pointy end which is great for just adjusting the placement of your crystals if you're not particularly happy with it. As you can see, I wasn't because they weren't equal enough for me. Uh, a little bit of having to do things right. So I'm just doing the last nail, so as before, pop that bling adhesive where I want it, picking up the crystals, placing them one at a time, and then I'm going to cure this in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. placing that last crystal and this adhesive is great because if you're not happy you do have more time to move it around now that is cured I am going to top coat all of the nails again so they've all only been top coated the once but I'm going in with a second top coat making sure I cap the free edge with this so butting right up against those crystals or Swarovskis. Uh, and then I'm going to pop those in my LED lamp to cure for 30 seconds. So that is this design all finished, but I do need to do a little bit of cleanup. So using nail polish remover on a cotton pad, I'm just going to wipe around those two stamped nails and get rid of all of that excess um, stamping polish that was on my fingers. I do this right at the end because I know the rest of the stamping polish is completely sealed in by top coat and you want to use nail polish remover, not acetone. So I'm just going to finish off this nail and then I'm going in with my Kiki London cuticle oil to rehydrate the nails and the fingers and everything. And that is it. This design is complete. Um, giving that a good old rub in and then, and then I'll be done. So I just want to say thank you so much to you all for watching this video and this design. I've incorporated a lot of my favourite products so I do hope you have enjoyed it. As I said before I will pop all the links in the description box along with all those discount codes. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you again very very soon. Bye! Mwah!